What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishops Breaks. And guys, it is almost time for Phillies baseball. It is, what, the 14th? That's when the Phillies season starts. So it's, what, next next week, right? It's the start of Phillies spring training. Cannot wait for that to happen. That has got me in the mood for scouring eBay for just some obscure Philadelphia Phillies players. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've kind of been looking into getting in the last month. So this is our last month's worth of mail days here. So I hope you guys uh, stay tuned, enjoy, and yeah, I didn't open this one. This is how this package came. So hopefully that card's okay in there. But let's get uh, let's take a cut away for a second. And let's get right into this mail day. All right, so let's take a look at our first piece of mail, Fragile. Let's open. Oh, got some tape in there. Fragile right there. We have a couple, couple autos in there. Let's take a look at who we have going on in here. Come on. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, we're, we're starting off great. I mean, hey, thanks for using Panders Tape and not Scotch Tape. Um, it, does, it doesn't matter. I'm sure Panders Tape is easier to get off, but it, at the end of the day, if you're taping a... If you're taping stuff together and all of my mail just fell over, awesome. Uh, if you're taping stuff for shipping and it's fine. Sure, it might be annoying that you had to, like, it leaves the residue on the top loaders. Jeez, how many? I think I have three cards in here. I think I bought from the, I did buy from the same seller because it's one package. Uh, we got a. Hey, uh, Zach Segovia, Joseph Bissenis, and Mike Zagurski. Yo, Big Z right here. I remember Big Z. Whenever he came into pitch, I would be irrationally upset, uh, especially in, like, uh, the 2010s when he was with the Phillies. Irrationally upset I would get as a child. Um, but moving on from, uh, from those three forgotten Phillies we have here, got some bubble wrap. We got wrapped up a little bit of cardboard in here. Double wrap cardboard team sleeve right here. Kind of uh, a little too thick with the cardboard. We got a mini Clay Buckholtz. Clay Buckholtz, one of 25, eBay one of one. Who remembered Clay Buckholtz as a Philly? Pitched in 2017. Had a actually had a pretty decent rebound season the next year with the Diamondbacks. And then, oh, bumped the camera. Had a pretty, yeah, I guess that had, had a pretty decent rebound season uh, with the Diamondbacks uh, the next season after 2017. Um, and then, that was 2018 was with the Diamondbacks. And then 2019 was with the Blue Jays. And he regressed again, like really bad. We have a Brian Schneider. With the Phillies. Good old Brian Schneider. Uh, auto right here. I saw his auto pop up. And I was actually surprised that Brian Schneider actually had like, an auto. But I guess that's just kind of uh, the kind of cards you're going to get. You're not going to always get banger cards. You're going to get your uh, your Brian Schneider autos in products. I would have uh, hate to have invested money in a... What was a set? Uh, Piedmont? Is that the set that this is, came out of? Piedmont? Yeah, it has to be Piedmont. I'm not sure if Piedmont was a, uh, top set, but I was assuming the autograph you're not looking to pull out of that set is a Brian Schneider. That's, uh, that's just my, just my professional take here as you gotta open up some cards on the internet. Oh, we have another catcher here. Another former Phillies catcher here. Uh, we have Rob Barajas. Good old Rob Barajas, longtime Met. Uh, Schneider, longtime National. Um, so yeah, both both backup catchers for the Phillies. Barajas might have been a star a little bit, actually, 2007-esque. Because uh, Ruiz didn't really break out. What do we have here? Do I have the... Is that, is that a thank you note from eBay? Yeah, it's just my order information. Uh, here we have a fun one. Uh, we have A.J. Burnett. A.J. Burnett, and this is a Phillies card. Not not a not a Pirates. P 
PHI is Philly, so a AJ Burnett Phillies relic card here. I think it's one of his only cards he has in a Philly uniform. That's a super thick card. Uh, but yeah, he did not have a very good tenure in his one season in Philadelphia. He went like 3-17, and 17, led the league in losses. And that was after having like a solid tenure with the Pirates two, like for two straight seasons. Where he went like 34-12 and like 12 or 34-20, and 20, something like that. But yeah, he AJ here, not a good tenure in Philadelphia. Uh, take a look. Let's kind of pack. This is how this came in the mail, by the way. Just ripped open. Thankfully, looks like there's a lot of filler in here. Uh, I did. I did actually pre-open this one to make sure the card wasn't shredded um, based on the way the package arrived. Well, looks like a lot. Actually, uh, that one took some damage right there. It looks like only. One card really took some damage to it, but lots of lots of base right here. <laughs> this guy just sent me off his uh, junk singles. So let's take a look here at uh, what our singles are that we got. I saw someone post on Twitter that they got a complaint that they were that they sent like singles like that, like team singles. Like, someone bought, like, I don't know, like a Mets card or, like, a Reds card or something. So they just throw in some, like, you know, little singles right there, like a thank you, you know. And they complained about it, that they didn't order these and they didn't want them. Wild. Uh, but another another Clay Buckholz right here. This one is 3 of 10. 3 of 10 for Clay Buckholz right there. Love me, uh... Love me, love me some Clay Buckholz in that ADHD grab of mine where it's like, oh, I gotta pick up all of these low number parallels I found on eBay. Uh, but here we go. Next package is up. More Clay Buckholz? No, not Clay Buckholz. This is gonna be Justin Bohr. Do you know Justin Bohr was with Philadelphia for half a season? At a Topps Legacy of Baseball. Uh, I think this is like what, Series 2 or Update? This has got to be Update. 2019 uh, Baseball Series 1. 2019 Series 1 is a Justin Bohr Phillies Auto. I could have sworn that was an Update card. Um, apparently not, even though Bohr was literally with Philadelphia for half of a season. It was probably like the Estrubal Cabrera, Wilson Ramos, uh, Justin Bohr, Corey Dickerson trades. That's uh, wild. Uh, we have another Clay Buckholz here, our third Buckholz, two of five, uh, color match parallel right here with the Phillies, red on red, two of five, the Buckholz from Topps Mini. You guys, our third Buckholz parallel uh, in today's mail day, which probably more Buckholz cards for Philadelphia uh, than most people knew actually existed, but yeah, not a... Not a bad mail day, especially if you're a former Red, if you're a Red Sox fan and you like former Red Sox Clay Buckholz, or if you're me and like to collect obscure Phillies and picked up three Clay Buckholz parallels, twenty five or less. Uh, we do have one more package right here. This one is more of a PC right here. Uh, Jonathan Pettibone autograph rookie card, uh, numbered two sixty four of five hundred. So for us, this is actually a fairly decent mail day right here. We got. What, three autos? Get a recap right here. We got the uh, Zagurski, Basenis, and Segovia autos. Uh, the Pettibone, it's going to be Select from 2013. Panini Select. Rookie auto. Tops Mini, uh, Bull Quotes to 5. 2019 Series 1, Justin Bohr. We have Topps Mini Blue, 3 of 10. <laughs> we have Donruss, uh, AJ Burnett, Phillies Relic. Literally, I think Roy Halladay retired the season before, or that offseason, and they gave out Roy Halladay's number like that offseason. It was like a big headline. Uh, Barajas and Brian Schneider, backup catchers for Philadelphia. Uh, that spent a lot of time with division rivals. And of course, our last card being the. Out of 25, 1 of 25, eBay 1 of 1, Clay Buckholz, Mini, Orange. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed today's mail day, hit that like button, comment down below, and stay tuned for our next 
uh, next opening here on the channel.